Na na na. All right. So, uh, hello. Hello. We are Elephant Heart, and we thought, you know, interviews are fun, but why not interview each other? Get a little deeper. Get in, uh, so we, we've we've created a couple questions to ask each other. Um, about Always trying trying to keep the relationship spicy. Yeah, being their husband and wife, you know, the questions you don't really get to ask each other because you're just you're you're in the process making the music. So I figured, why don't we uh, come up with a few questions to ask each other? Yeah. And um, see how it goes. Okay. So we thought of a couple questions. I'm gonna ask you first. Okay. What is the difference? What is the difference about? Difference about? <laughs> What's the difference with making music with me? That's not a true sentence. What is the difference? What are you, Anchorman? About? <coughs> hmm. So you know what the making question is. The you you made the What's the difference with making music with me other than all your other peeps? Ah. I'm ready. Well, it's been a really amazing experience because, for one thing, because you've never really like made music and produced music before in the studio, you don't like know the rules and necessarily the language of it. So it's actually really freeing. So when I'm like, you know, oh, we should, we, we got to go back to this part because because I have these rules in my mind. You don't have those rules. I so, don't like rules. Yeah. Cannonball. So it's so it's helped pull me out of. Uh, a cycle that I can get into and uh, another really cool thing is that we'll pray before we make music which you know I, I, I have done that with the monsters and strangers before when we're stuck and we can't figure out a part I tend to get a little frustrated like oh I gotta, I gotta figure out You're like let's just stop for a second let's just ask for it and that's really refreshing and cool um, so I've actually taken that into my other even just when I'm alone working and producing stuff, I'm kind of sit there and be like, all right, this is what Vic would do, so, yeah. That's awesome. And? And? You get kisses. Oh yeah, and I get lots of kisses. What's the most memorable moment of making the album? I mean, any moment where we made instruments is pretty, like, the tube. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you, so what do you, what do you mean we make instruments? We love to, I love to uh, make my own instruments out of anything. Like we even this one candle became a really amazing tube, and then we're singing in the tube. We're just yeah, I love. We also we were in the in the in the hot tub, and we uh, we were recording a voice note, and we went back and listened to the voice note. It had this crazy sound in it. We sampled the splash of that, and then turned that. We put that into the MIDI, and like turned it into like a keyboard sound. In the hot tub. We recorded a splash, it, and then no we sound. It's like the regular splash. It's just like a <laughs> from the <an> iPhone, <laughs> right? You could hear it. And then so I do is I put it in this sampler contact here, put it in here, and you sample it. That was cool. One of my most memorable moments of making the album uh, when you say go, because I remember you actually hop back on this little mellotron here. I was like, I was like, you know, let's just like, just, just, just mess around, just play something. And you're like, bum, 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 bum. And it, it was just, so magical. It, it was just so magical how the whole song just flowed from that. And uh, it's really, that's for, a journey. Yeah, and for me, it's really cool just to see, because you know, like, I'm always like, oh, she, like, what's she gonna come up with? Because you, you don't do this every day, you know. And then when you get in the mic, and then like these things come out of you. I'm like, whoa. So that's really. Cool. I gotta say, from now working with you in that way, the one thing everyone has said about you, which now I'm like realizing for myself, is you are such a good producer because you really know how to bring the best out of people. Mm. You make them feel really comfortable. I mean, obviously, I feel so comfortable f with you, but still, to release your voice and sing in front of people is maybe one of the scariest things to do. So and me being not someone that ever thought of doing that or wanted to do that, realizing that this was a season and like this calling and this gift that I was needed to share, it was really nice to yeah. get to share that with you and you get to see me process it. It's just special that you really know that. Yeah. 
Vicky, what artists inspired this album the most for you? Or just in life, what, what artists have you been inspired by? Um, the biggest for me is the Beatles. I have always just been obsessed with the Beatles and loved their... They never colored inside the lines. They would take you off into a... You'd be up in outer space and you'd be running through a field of daisies and then, then you'd be in this really catchy chorus. I just... They knew how to have so much fun and play in their music, but then also make a lot of very intentional songs with meaning and depth, yeah. so they for sure. And then, you know, you gotta like Timberland side, for sure. I, it's funny, like looking back, I'm like, whoa, like he used like mi like samples from around the world, and that is, would say, my third influence, being such a lover of cultures and growing up, my best friend's Persian growing up, and dated an Arabic guy, and like, my best friend in high school was this Egyptian dude. I also grew up not having cable, and o the only free channel was the Bollywood station. Not the only free channel, but the state channel I loved that was free, it was like 33 or something, it was Bollywood TV, and I just was obsessed with it. So, that, yeah. and then Definitely obviously there's so many other music, but those I think are the core of yeah. Bjork, for sure. Yeah, I'd say my biggest inspirations, for sure, Timbaland, Pharrell as producers, um, but like Rage Against the Machine, like their grooves were always the, just so hard and heavy, and I just love like like the aggression they had in it. Mm -hmm. um, but then artists like Postal Service mm. and Cat Stevens and um, Radiohead, all that kind of go into like the more melodic side of it, you know. Yeah. But in this album, I think just our travels around the world too, just have this really inspired. Yeah. It's like the feeling you get when you're out, like when you're out at some like weird club in the middle of the jungle in like Laos and you like hear the music, you're like, whoa, like I want to make something like this, you know, mm -hmm. those moments. Yeah. So if you could describe the album in one word. Um, a circle, a sphere, it's the, the full spectrum of like who we are as individuals and as, as who we are together, you know? Mm. Do you have one word? <sighs> Unifying. Oof, way better. That was good. That's... That hit. What's been the most challenging part and exciting part about becoming a producer since it's really your first time doing this? Um, well, I feel like I am proud of myself for doing something I, I mean, how many years did I just watch you produce and like never, I've always been very anti-technology and it's been, been a little, oh, I don't, can't, under, why, I'm like a hands-on. Why are you anti-technology? Probably because my parents are and I feel like I'm, I write notes in a notebook and I write down post-its and I mm. write handwritten cards to friends and my dad's a mailman. Like, I don't know. Like, but you I, also told me that back when you started learning Ableton that you were saying, you're like, I realized I was so anti because I just, I didn't think I was going to be able to actually yeah, learn it. I was getting it. there. Oh, you're getting there? I was getting there. Okay, I was you know me. I, tell I was my making mom's sure that you, I, I'm, I, that's some good juice in there. Yeah, I think... But you're anti, why are you anti something? Because it seems too hard that you literally I was just going to go there. Like mm -hmm. it's, but when I really think about it, instead of just challenging myself, like I was, why were I not smart enough to learn a music program? Or, um, so especially because I tried some hobbies of picking up guitar or bass, mm. play the trumpet. Um, I never really stuck with it because discipline was a hard thing for me in those hobbies. Obviously, I had my profession that I was very disciplined in, but I've always loved music, but I just never thought of it as like a career. Like, and so it was this hobby. I never really put the full. Yeah. And I think it was because it's like, oh, you're too, it's too. It's, I don't know. I just didn't even know I could. Yeah. And now that I can produce songs and create sounds and it's just. Yeah. really amazing to be able to express myself in that way because I love to express myself in so many other art forms you know yeah um what song are you connected with the most Jason 
What song am I connected with the most? I feel like it changes all the time for me. This is true. Like, like I always forget about Eureka for some reason, but then when Eureka comes on, same with Affirmations, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite one. Um, maybe because they're love songs to each other. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, I connect with, man, it's, it's a tough one. I, I feel like live, I love when you say go. Just, mm. um, follow too. I, f I feel like, man, that's, that's a hard, that's a hard one. I connect with all, I connect with all of them at different times, for sure. Like, you know, like you always say, like Thunder, I just want to get pumped up and it's like, I love driving to that song. Yeah, I think you're right for different moments. Different seasons. Different seasons. <laughs> I need a different song. Like, I sometimes really need to put on the thunder to be like, silence the darkness from like entering yeah. and taking over my life again. Yeah. And, or warfare. Yeah. And then. After it gets to be kind of choked up, like, like, like when I want to, when I want to feel, I kind of just remember that, like the little kid inside of me to remember like not the, to not let the light get taken out of me. You know? I know. Africa for me too. When I hear it, I just hear myself. I hear like God singing to me. Because yeah. I forget too, you know, I yeah. fall into the patterns of oh, yeah. depression and overwhelmed and like forgetting what I'm, you know, my purpose and my mm -hmm. value and like, I can get so down and hard on myself and when I hear that song I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. great. So, we like all of them. We like them all, I guess. What does um, the album name Seasons mean? Seasons is just what it means. Seasons. We go through so many seasons in our life. Some are on the highest mountains. Some are those valleys that you're like getting sucked in by sinking quicksand. Yeah. Um, some are just like a boring. You're just like walking and nothing, nothing bad, nothing good. And I think. Um, we just that's life and i think this music is to help you through those seasons so some are just like joyful such happy songs that are just free and light and some are those songs that are going to get you through the darkness and some are just those, a love song that will make you feel you know, oh. connected to the one you love and yeah. some are songs to god seasons regarding our relationship we have been through so many seasons we've been together 14 years and let me tell you, there's seasons. If you want to be with someone that long, you're going to go through some seasons. Oh, lots of seasons here. He's probably been married to quite a few different me's and vice versa. <laughs> but when you get through the dark seasons, yeah. it is... Springtime always feels good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Springtime always feels good. It sure does. But, and yeah. And hey, if you make it through that winter, you get a lot more fruit in spring, too. Yeah, you'll get more fruit. And then the fruit dies. And then you have to, like, find and harvest the fruit and, like, put, like, topsoil and, like, special herbs. That's a lot of water. No water. <laughs> I'm getting kissed. I was going to. You needed to ask me. I was going to do it. I'm going to mess up your lipsy, though. But, yeah, a lot of the... Uh, the whole album was pretty much recorded in here. We we recorded a bunch of sounds while traveling. We brought a little recorder with us. Went to a studio in India. Recorded a bunch of live musicians there. Took one home with us. Took one home with us. We recorded two of the songs in Nashville with our friends Yacht Money, The Digital, and Love Is the Weapon. Um, and Love Is the Weapon actually, I didn't even I, I didn't even write in that one. That was all you and Yacht Money. Which is crazy. It's the first time I've been on like a I was like lip syncing in the video. I'm like Love Is the Weapon. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to make some new tunes. Definitely time for some new, new season tunes. coming up. New seasons, but enjoy this season. Yeah, hope you enjoy the album.